Hello everyone! Uh, this next uh, game was suggested to me again by a subscriber and at first when I uh, saw who played the game I didn't know the game he was uh, talking about but as soon as I reached the critical position of the game I immediately remembered uh, which game it was uh, because I saw this game plenty of times and uh, uh, I've seen this, uh, I've seen the critical position, I also have it in my book uh, uh, Strategy and Tactics by, uh, by Lysitsyn and uh, as soon as I saw it was this game, I was I was very happy. So this is the game I decided to show you. And uh, the game was played in 1938. And uh, there was this uh, Dutch radio company called Avro. And they decided to organize and sponsor uh, the strongest chess tournament ever held. So uh, they got together a couple of very strong players. Uh, for example, uh, Paul Keres, Ruben Fine, uh, Mikhail Botvinnik, uh, Alexander Alekhin, uh, Max Juve, uh, Jose Roll Capablanca. Uh, Samuel Ryshevsky and uh, Solomon Floor and uh, well uh, by FIDE standards it was the strongest tournament ever held to that date and uh, well Paul Karras uh, won the tournament uh, tied uh, with uh, Ruben Fine and uh, Mikhail Botvinnik actually got third place and this is uh, well somewhat young Mikhail Botvinnik he was 27 years old here and uh, this is uh, 10 years before Mikhail Botvinnik actually uh, won his championship title and uh, at the at the time that this game was played, uh, uh, Alexander Alekhin was uh, the 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 reigning world champion. So it was a a very you know a very strong tournament. And uh, the game I decided to show you is uh, Mikhail Botvinnik versus Jose Roll Capablanca. So well, without further ado, let's uh, check the game out. We have d4 by Botvinnik, knight to f6 by Capablanca, c4, e6. Uh, we have knight to c3 and uh, bishop to b4, the Nimzo Indian defense. Uh, we have e3, d5, a3, bishop captures on c3, uh, b captures on c3, and c5. And this is all standard theory. So we have c captures on d5, e captures on d5, and bishop d3, developing that bishop on, on a nice square. Uh, we have castles, knight to e2, b6, preparing to develop. Uh, Botvinnik castles and now bishop to a6. So bishop captures on a6, knight captures on a6 and uh, bishop to b2. So uh, queen to d7 and now a4. Uh, we have rook f to e8, queen to d3 attacking that knight on a6, c4 and uh, queen to c2. And uh, if you look at this position, it seems like, uh, well, this uh, dark square bishop Botvinnik has on b2, it seems like a pretty useless piece. Uh, but in the future, it can uh, very easily go to a3 and uh, go to this strong diagonal, or even maybe c1, and then after he pushes e4, maybe to g5 or f4. So al although it is a bad piece now, it, it does have a lot of potential. Uh, so Capablanca plays knight to b8. And uh, he plays this move with uh, the idea of playing knight to c6, to a5, and then to b3. And this would be a very strong square for the knight. Uh, so we have rook uh, a to e1, and uh, Capablanca continues with his plan. A knight to c6, uh, knight to g6 by Botvinnik, knight to a5, f3. So Botvinnik prepares this plan of f3 and e4, and Capablanca plays a knight to b3. And now, by playing this knight to b3 move, he, he's also attacking this a4 pawn, because Botvinnik's queen isn't protecting it anymore. Uh, but the Botvinnik actually sacrifices this pawn and plays e4. So, as there's really no immediate threat, Capablanca always uh, elects to capture a pawn. So he plays uh, queen captures on a4. Uh, we have e5, uh, kicking that knight, knight to d7, and now queen to f2, preparing f4 and f5. Uh, we have g6 by Capablanca, and now f4. And, uh, well, here Botvinnik is uh, threatening f5, and he, if he manages to play this, well, white would be white would be somewhat better here. And this would be very hard to play for, for Capablanca. So he decides to push f5 himself. And uh, Botvinnik captures, e captures on f6, knight captures on f6, and now, well, still pushes f5. Uh, so we have rook captures on e1, rook captures on e1, and now rook to e8. And uh, Botvinnik plays rook to e6, now attacking that knight. So Capablanca captures uh, with the rook, we have f captures on e6, and now king to g7, protecting the knight. Uh, we have queen to f4, and now the queen is uh, threatening to infiltrate to, to c7 here. So Capablanca decides to bring his own queen to help out with the defense, and plays queen to e8. Uh, we have queen to e5, pinning that knight, 
uh, queen to e7 and uh, this is the critical position uh, when I was uh, look, lo uh, looking this game and I immediately remembered the game and uh, well uh, it, it, this is one of those positions where the the engine actually isn't suggesting uh, the move that Botvinnik played even though it is the strongest move in the position uh, the computer is suggesting something like uh, h4 which doesn't really do anything immediately but uh, what Botvinnik played is uh, well nothing short of spectacular and if you would like feel free to pause the video and uh, try to find a move for yourself okay I will give it a couple of seconds for you to do it if, if you want to okay uh, if, if you did find a move then what, uh, congratulations to you you're you're an amazing player and if you didn't and you would still like uh, to know what Botvinnik played uh, Botvinnik played bishop to a3 and at first uh, the computer totally doesn't like this move he thinks this is a draw uh, but you'll see why it's not so Capablanca captures the bishop as well the queen doesn't really have that many options uh, she has to kind of protect this e-pawn from being pushed and uh, well he cap he captures it uh, and now uh, another fancy move by Botvinnik he plays knight to h5 check and uh, well the knight cannot capture it and uh, well uh, Botvinnik is now threatening to capture this knight on f6 as he's attacked by the queen and the knight so only move is g captures on h5 and now Botvinnik plays uh, queen to g5 check <clears throat> and this is uh, well uh, the king uh, only uh, the king can go only to f8 and to h8 and wherever the king goes a uh, couple uh, Botvinnik will capture this knight with check so uh, Capablanca plays king to f8 we have queen captures on f6 with check and now uh, king to g8 and uh, Botvinnik simply pushes e7 preparing e8 with queening and uh, mating and uh, <clears throat> this is probably the position why uh, why the engine uh, didn't like that uh, bishop to a3 move it was probably too hard for the engine to calculate that bishop to a3 move and now to calculate all the checks that black queen can give to this white king uh, but for a human player this is somewhat easier as uh, well you know a, hu a human brain does does use patterns and uh, well I'm pretty sure Botvinnik was uh, completely sure that this is winning so Capablanca plays queen to c1 check we have king to f2 queen to c2 check uh, king to g3 queen to d3 check, uh, king to h4, queen to e4 check, and now king captures on h5, queen to e2 check, and now king to h4, and now again queen to e4 check, but now Botvinnik, since he already captured that h5 pawn, can play uh, g4. So Capablanca plays queen to e1 check, and now king to h5, and uh, in this position uh, Jose Rol Capablanca resigned, and uh, there are no more checks in the position, <clears throat> Although I, sometimes I say say in my videos that there are no more no more checks in the position, and then someone says, "Oh, oh what do you mean there were checks in the position?" Uh, but what I actually meant was, uh, well, there are no more meaningful checks. You know, those those kinds of checks uh, that uh, actually do accomplish something. Uh, but I I really do believe that in this position there are no more checks except for maybe queen to h4 check. But this is uh, well ridiculous. So yeah, in this position, Jose Royal Capablanca resigned, and uh, a very nice victory for young Botvinnik. And uh, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, it was a, it was the strongest tournament so far. Uh, it was played in November 1938, and the Botvinnik won a very strong third place. And it's interesting that uh, first place uh, was won by Paul Karras uh, with eight and a half points, and also Ruben Fine got eight and a half points. Uh, Botvinnik was third. And then after the three of them, uh, the three world champions uh, got the rest of the places. So yeah, a very nice, a very nice showing by all of them, especially Paul Karras. But uh, uh, we'll we'll deal with uh, Karras's game some other time. So yeah, this is the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure this critical position with the bishop a3 move can be found in a lot of books. So maybe you've seen this game, maybe you haven't. If you haven't. Uh, it's a very nice game to see. And yeah, that's it. I do hope you you really enjoyed it. And uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, yeah, before I forget, uh, I would I would like to thank Johan Vaktare. Thank you for your contribution to my channel. I, I do appreciate it. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.